Guten Morgen, my fellow tribe. So, on a little break here, wanted to kind of touch base of just some things. A thing that's kind of been going through my mind of the attitude and the mindset. I don't care whether it is in commercial or whether it is in service. It's the stick to Uh That kind of sounds like a hip, cool word. It's probably not even a word, to be honest. But stick to not only encompasses you being able to get through a five-year apprenticeship. Not only is it showing up to a commercial job site, freezing your nuts off, working, not knowing anything, keeping your opinions to yourself, showing up, learning, and also problem solving. I've noticed that in those kind of three different categories, service is is new for me, for one. Uh, so the diagnosing, the trying to figure out in this large, because I work in the commercial service, what could possibly be affecting and or going wrong. And that's something I'm looking forward to gaining knowledge and skills in, and I think that just comes with time and exposure. So I think that giving yourself the ability to learn, to think about the system, to think about what it is that's going on, you have to have that stick to because there is an underlying issue and there is probably multiple solutions. So me just thinking about that, thinking about what it looks like, I also think it's detrimental this is my personal opinion, yet uh, I would say, again, of being a first or second year apprentice. I'm just going to speak in my commercial world service. And you are to join the union and be put into a service role. I'm sure every company does it different. I'm sure that there's different protocols and procedures, but I would... I feel like it was a disservice, it would be a disservice to my knowledge, to my trade, to my career, if I did not go through four and a half years of grinding, of of really the day in, day out, every day building of commercial buildings. Because you're, you're learning to do things on a repetition basis. You're learning materials. You're learning how to do the math, how to do the takeoff, how to actually build a system, how to use copper, how to use cast, PVC. You're doing it over and over and over again. And you're, you're implementing code every day. Whether you know it or not, you're implementing the reason why we do what we do. And you get better at it. And you start to actually get that just that muscle memory that really helps you become not only better but more knowledgeable and understanding being able to visualize and see different um, parts of that world and and so I think that before you get into service you need to have that background because I, you know the, the workflow is just very different in service and and I feel like for me I would have been really disappointed not being able to get that exposure because if you were to take me from my first year to my fourth year and then put me in a commercial world I would I'd probably quit let's be honest I would I would probably quit you got to earn those stripes you got to earn that kind of name for yourself before you get to drive a company truck or before you get to uh, have a bathroom to use that's not a porter potty where you're outside I mean I was outside Four winners, and that's not a lot. Let me let me just say, I did not put in what other guys have done. I'm not trying to compare here, but being out in the winter where we do get below freezing, mostly through the whole winter, and snow, and I'm outside, you know what I mean? Every day having to show up and put myself through this kind of uh, training and abuse and 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 just the the thick of it gaining that skin gaining that um 
appreciation for what I've been given now. I mean, I feel like that's not the rite of passage, but a rite of passage. Like, it's 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 such a. I, I'm so thankful for where I'm at now and for where I'm able to go with this career, uh, with this trade. And um, that stick to itiveness just draws back into that because then you have to go to school. Then you got to figure out how to make your life work. Then you got to figure out a balance of how you're not going to drive yourself into the ground. And then you got to figure out other parts of your life that you need to be more well rounded in. And I guess that stick to itiveness and that challenge kind of gets taken away from you if you're put into a service role at an earlier age or earlier step in your apprenticeship. Um, maybe they'll change that because usually in our apprenticeship or it's third year, they'll give you maybe an option or a possibility of changing to service, but most of us are in commercial right away. Uh, kind of depends on the need of your area and the need of, you know, what our state's growing like ridiculously. So commercial is a big deal at the moment, but that stick to itiveness of, of gaining your knowledge like try to just make it as difficult as possible meaning what's going to expand you and push you the most take that route and then you know build on that um that foundation so uh stick to it to this man yeah that's uh, that's what you got to do and, and you got to show up and even for me you know going to classes it's not the easiest thing um but a five-year apprenticeship through your local union is a huge huge credential on your resume and it's a huge um respected and honorable uh what's what's the word accolade i guess that uh you get to look back on for yourself and i'm gonna be so proud hopefully you know i, I live to see that day which isn't long uh one semester left and thumbs up to stick to itiveness